Rose and Curls. My name is Deidre Rowe. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with a friend. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this hairstyle. I'm not gonna keep babbling because y'all wanna see how I did it? Let's get into it. So in order for me to start off with stretch hair, this is the heat protectant that I use. And this is my detangler, which I love. It allows you to detangle vertically and horizontally. It has a point to help you part your hair, but it broke because the handle is just so slippery that they need to work on that. And then this is the blow dryer that I've bought on Amazon. It's kind of a Dyson dupe. It does have an ion setting that you can turn on and off. So I use three different types of hair color to achieve this style. The first one I have is an ombre. I thought it ombre from black, but guys, this was like a dark purple into brown, into blonde, and you can see the color number at the top right. And it had three bundles, but I only used a bundle and a half. The next pack is number 27. This is hair that I had before, so I believe I used a little bit more than one bundle. And the last one I have is 613. This was leftover hair, so I used about one bundle. And all three of these packs are pre-stretched hair. You'll need a comb of your choice, some claw clips to hold, two scrunchies, some duck clips to get the finer hairs out of the way, your favorite braiding gel, and something to lock in moisture. I'm using a butter. Please don't come for me. So this is clear a yarn organizer but I use it to separate all my hair when I'm braiding and I was able to purchase this off Amazon I'll link it below and this is what it looks like after I set up the hair ombre on the outside brown in the middle blonde on the outer so I'm starting off with three strands of hair as you can see they're all different sizes because every time I add in hair I add just a little bit more so in order to do not less braids you want to start off by braiding your hair about two to three passes then you want to add in hair right there between your thumb and your index finger you just put the hair there let go and you continue to braid and I'm gonna do this three times while I add in bigger pieces each time So our first row is gonna be a row of knotless box braids. And I do this to ensure that my corn rows have enough space because the nape of my head is not wide enough for the corn rows to lay flat and all fit at the back. I parted my hair down the middle and then just so it could be easier to gauge how many braids I'm doing, I parted this in half as well. So you wanna start off with a really thin amount of hair. Like I would say go smaller than normal. And like as you add hair, take bigger pieces. So this is a little bit bigger. You can't really see, but I can. <laughs> and this is definitely bigger, but you don't wanna go too big. I think this might, there might be too much hair here. Just putting the hair a little bit closer to me. Every time you add hair, you wanna add more than before. I'm gonna start by corn rolling my hair. And I'm gonna go probably two times. Nope, let's go one more, cause the hair feels mad thin there. And the ombre one. And I'm putting the hair in between Mom, the middle and the outer strand. The middle and the outer strand. It doesn't matter which outer strand, it could be the one closest to this side or that side. Grab some more hair, put it right there, let go and grab. And I don't know if you guys can see that. I am trying my best. Sorry, there's kind of like a shadow. One, two, three. I'm gonna place the hair in between these two strands, right? So grab the hair and lift up my middle finger, my index finger and let the index finger grab the hair. You see it's placed right here. Then I will just continue to braid. Right now, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of gel, like whatever gel I like, and I am just 
braiding the rest of the hair down a little bit. Now we are gonna grab the brown hair because I want to add more color in this transition. So we're gonna add it between the out of hair and the middle hair. And then you just continue to braid. And I'm not gonna add any more hair because right now this is really thick and I don't want it to be too thick. I, I want it to be seamless, like. And then you wanna braid loose. You don't want the hair to be stiff. If my hair is coming towards the end, so I'm gonna add more gel so it could blend well. We're gonna continue to braid and it's really thin on this side. So we're gonna add blonde. I'm gonna add blonde. And then continue to braid. And I'm adding blonde because I want the ends to be blonde so I don't wanna add any more brown. I just continue to braid. And it'll be easy if you cannot just put this in your mouth and braid loosely. Okay, now I feel like I got to a spot where this is really thin and I want some more blonde at the ends. So I am going to add hair. And because I want hair on this strand, I'm gonna make sure it's on the outer. Then I'm going to put it in, but I'm not gonna put it in evenly. I want one side to be just a little bit longer because I want the hair to be teased. And then I place it, sorry. I place it right there in the middle and I continue to braid. And this is how you feed in hair. And continue to braid. And I think this will be the last strand that I add. Okay, so as far as parting, I'm just parting something really thin. On. I'm using a mirror, I'm looking at a mirror. I'm using a smaller mirror to just check it to see how I like it, how thin it is in the front. I just need to make it a little bit thinner in the back. So you see all that hair that I was able to take and put it back on that side. All right, so I wanted this really thin because I kind of want the beginning of each one to be thin. That's why this one is so thin. And in order to braid something that's thin, it's best to braid sideways. But when you're braiding sideways, be sure to pull your fingers upward so that the hair that the braid can be defined. So grab here and go up. Grab here and go up. And this is too thin right here to add here, so we're not gonna be adding here. I probably can add like really skinny pieces, but we're not gonna do that. So pull upward, upward, upward. Grab some hair and start to put it in in the middle. Upward, upward, grab some more hair, put it in the middle. I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but just know that you're putting the hair in the middle. See, between these two strands, this one and the middle one. And you just continue to braid. You can clearly see where I add the hair in this one and I don't like it, but once I finish all the other braids, you're probably not even gonna be able to tell, so I'm not even fussing. I think I'm gonna add some brown so it could transition better. This is what I have so far. When you look real close, they do look rough. I think like I might eventually go back in and tidy them up now that I already have the parts, or I just might leave them because tying your hair down, adding mousse will fix all of that. 
I will braid the rest of it later. I just hope it don't look too thin. So we finish half, we'll do the other half in the morning. Let's focus on parting. So when it comes to parting, um, I part everything in half, so I'm doing 12 on each side. So six here, six here. So I need two braids from this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to part my hair, right? And then I'm gonna get the gel of my choice. And the gel of my choice here is the Kaleidoscope So So Slick. Bomb, bomb. I am not one for putting gel on your scalp, but this just helps the parting. I just put a little bit right there. So after I part it, I put the gel and then I go back in to get a better part. See, so much neater. And a comb like this definitely helps with the parting. This braid and lock butter. Probably should have been using a butter, but we just gonna use the butter. I kind of like when I lock in whatever moisture is in my hair anyway, because butters are kind of thick and they don't allow your hair to breathe. What I probably should have went in was with a leave-in conditioner and then the butter to lock it in, but I don't want to put the leave-in because I don't want my hair to revert. I'm trying to make my hair as straight as possible. I just put a little bit of the gel for the front to help me grab better. So, we're braiding, and remember we're lifting upward, upward, and I'm gonna do probably like three passes. Grab the hair, just give it to my index finger. So I'm just passing the hair to my index finger. I'm lifting up my index finger and I'm putting it back down and then I'm continuing to braid. And I, me giving it to my index finger is allowing the hair to go in between the outer strand and the middle strand. So just giving it to my index finger. Pick it up, put it down, and just continue to braid. And anytime you feed in the hair, make sure you're pulling upward and tight because you want that braiding hair to lay flat. Put in my index finger. Continue to braid. I just do like a couple of more passes just so there can be a little bit of space or so I can make sure that the hair that I added in is securely in there before adding another one. And then you can decide if you want to continue with black or if you want to add some brown. I think I'm going to start adding some brown. And right now it feels like there is more of my hair than the braiding hair, so I'm gonna add another brown. I'm gonna check it with my mirror. Okay, I still have enough space for the other hair. And now as you can see, I have like way more of my hair than the brown, especially on this strand. So I like to get it on the outer side, then I'm gonna add hair in there. So you add it between the outer and the middle. You just put it right in the middle, right there, and you continue to braid. And then I'm gonna grab some gel, put it on my hands, and then like the gel is just on these two fingers, it's still there. I'm using it to braid so I can smooth out my hair with the braiding hair. When I finish my hair, I'll go back in and I'll braid all the way to the bottom. That's just the last step. We only have four left, almost there. And I still have a good amount of space in the back. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We, have, we still have a good amount of space back here. Four left. Finish. The ends, I braided the ends all the way down and I just put this here so they won't unravel and 
I am going to braid from here down. I just hope I don't regret this because usually I wear it straight. <sighs> like my windows open, I blinked and I burnt my plantains. Yes, if y'all know, you know. We're gonna braid tight. Okay, so we have both ends braided. I wasn't able to show me dipping it because I just wanted to be um, cautious. <laughs> just dipped it and just make sure whenever you're dipping your hair, you're laying it as flat as you can in whatever you're dipping it in. You dry it straight. You don't want to bend the hair. Just dry it straight. Well, I'm just finishing up my hair with some mousse. You can use any mousse you would like. I'm using the Kaleidoscope Yo Fay Wrapper. Put mousse all over the top. And now I'm just focusing the mousse where my hair stops. Oh, it smells so good. I messed up my shirt. Like, don't just ignore it. I haven't done the curly look since I was little. Okay, so it looks like I could have braided higher, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Like, I'm not gonna keep touching it. I do want to cut the ends a little bit more. Look how pretty. I'm going to probably cut like right here. We're going to oil our scalp with Mish Polish. Oh gosh, a few drops. Now I can give you guys the full length. Are y'all ready? Oh, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay. Oh, she long. Oh, I still got to back up. I'm thinking I might cut more off. Y'all yeah. like it? Cause I love it. And I hope you try it out. Try it out guys. Try it out. This is so cute. So there you have it. I really hope the angles were good. Like I hope that you were able to learn and like gather some tips. Play along with it. Like you can decide how you want to ombre your hair. Like you can ombre with blue, green, purple. Yo, I really want to find some green hair. Like I need like a dark forest green, like an ombre black into green. Cause the greens that I be seeing is so bright. But yeah, whatever you want to do. I know that my ombre hair wasn't really black, but baby, you cannot tell. You cannot tell. And I just loved how the color is blended. Like I would, love for like me to hide the black but the way that it blended i think it blended out really good i love my hair do you guys love it i love it anyways i hope this video was helpful guys don't be intimidated i was intimidated i did this hairstyle two years ago and i said i need to run it back like, can i do it again this side was rough but once you get to this side it's much better just do it like you only get good if you try. Don't be scared, use the tips that I gave you guys and go and try this hairstyle because it will look so bomb with any summer fit. Riley's coming to tell y'all, it will look good with any summer fit. Come Riley. Tell them it will look good with any fit. Tell them. He doesn't like to be picked up, so let's just put the dog down. I did this hairstyle for the summer, but I also went to a vet tonight. Riley looking at my gift bag. Shop with me with Naturally Sunny and Kayla Cake. Um, they said to wear our best spring outfit with a pop of color and I figured this hairstyle with the curls at the ends, come on now, perfect for this green top that I found at Marshall's. I wasn't even looking. Anyways guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Like I truly appreciate y'all coming back. If you're new here, I really hope you enjoyed it enough to like subscribe like go ahead comment and subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend thank you so much daily some ombre straight backs bye guys